Hello everyone, this is Jack, and today we're going to be doing a, another Grand Arena battle. Today is round two, uh, this second uh, round, I guess you would call it, of three versus three. And uh, going through the first battle that I did, that I lost, as I figured I would. He, in Oop, I didn't want to do that. He indeed uh, full cleared me, and I just couldn't get past the ray. So unfortunately... You know, he beat me by enough, of course, because he full cleared. And looking at it, uh, if I had cleared, if I had used my Malik in the Sith Eternal team instead of just Sith, Sith Eternal with Watt, probably would have beaten the Ray. And looking at the point differences, I would have won. So it's very unfortunate, but you know what happens. You, know, you learn from those types of mistakes, and that was definitely my mistake on that one. Uh, today we're facing Relkin. He's a pretty typical person that we fight these days. He's got SK, he's got 6GLs, he's got, you know, tons of R9s and <laughs> all types of stuff. And and he, look at that, he full cleared me. And I don't think he dropped a single battle at 2052. Uh, we'll take a look to make sure. But you see I put SLK this time on defense with Dooku and JMK, LV, Ray. He cleared all that stuff. One hit. And it tells me that maybe he went a little offense heavy. Uh, we've got Sidious, Bounty Hunter team, I'm off the team, Huck team, Vin team, Beetle and One. And then on the top here, we've got um, Shock, Gas, Grievous, Newt, and CLS, Beetle and One. <laughs> and then we've got All Beaten One. So that's fun. So he, he put up a very high score there, 2052. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work hard on beating that score. His team here has got Dash, Han, and Chewy. Uh, he's got a non-leading Ness team here. That's weird. Okay, and then he's got a Mall team R nine Mall. What? <laughs> All right, R nine. So I guess we're R nine our malls now. Um, okay, that's fun. And then he how is it modded? What's the offense look like on this thing? 10-4? Okay. Well, mine's R8. What's mine at? Mall. Yeah, he's got high, what, 500 more offense? Uh, I don't know if that's worth an R9. I'm not sure if that's worth an R9. Um, okay. Going into the bottom here. He's got the SLKR, DACA. How's, how's, how's she modded? 122 health and tenacity? Tenacity? Why tenacity? Okay. And um, we got a Rex and we've got a Gas, also R9. And an R9 on the fives as well. And an R9 on SLKR. Okay, interesting. Lots of R9s. <laughs> this should be fun. Um, let's jump into it. We're going to do a bunch of testing. I think that's what I really liked about um, the last round, even though I lost, is there was some good amount of testing there. And I find testing to be you know, very the most exciting. So uh, this is less of a test than I need to just, I need to clean, clear this guy up. And I'm going to do it is save my Jedi Knight loop. I put Hood on defense with Ray. So saving Jedi Knight Luke to go after um, the SK team. Right, so this is the team I'm going to use. Obviously, Kiari Mundi, not optimal here. But I think I think it's needed. I think it's, I think it's needed that or fast a little. I really need someone to like. I really need someone to be able to heal up Jedi Master Luke. But let's just let's try this. Um, Got to get through the sisters quickly to then go after the SLKR, which he is speedy, high offense. Well, high-ish offense. Ten nine. He's R nine. Mm, maybe I should use GMY here. 
and then save Kyoto Mundi for Jedi Knight Revan with Cam and JKL. I just need two offense hitters. I just need two offense hitters and what do you think? Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Because if I'm I get the foresight up and I get some protection up. I think that would be that would be good. Let's go ahead and speaking of, let's go ahead and get the foresight and protection up. Eh, it's probably a waste, but that's fine. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, one more. Just basic spread. Oh, dang it. There's three. Okay, let's work on. Keep doing that. <laughs> Keep doing that. <laughs> Spreading the buffs, me, trying to get the four side up. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's do that. That's too bad. There we go. All right, I think GMY was good here. Oh. Banner Steeler. Yeah. We're going to lose two, three. Okay. Right. Help on GMY or uh, GML. Okay. So that was less testing than I just needed to deal with that. Um, but all these others are going to be some testing. And we're going to try it out here. What we're going to try first is we're going to try Wampa against the gas. Um, last time I tried this, I did fail. I didn't record it. That was one of the ones last week that I, in the game first, yeah. So um, I tried this last time, last week, and it failed. I got rexilated. But there's no rex here. There's an echo and arc. So I'm hoping... Frankly, I should probably look it up before I just jump into it. So let's, before we do that, let's... Let's do this battle. We're going to bring in some Jedi, you, you, and I do need an attacker. It kind of messes up my Qui-Gon Jinn team with Anakin, but maybe there's a weaker team that Anakin still can take down. Like a Mon Lava? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so while this is going on, I do need to check and see if, how Wampa does. Um, what's his speed? 290? Good lord, so he's 360? Plus he's getting, oh my gosh, he's gonna go first. The first thing he's gonna do is gonna do the hand raising, and I've got tenacity up, so that's gonna stop that in his tracks. And how fast is this guy? Crew, he's 283. No leadership ability this time, so he's 283. And then Star Killer is uh, relatively slow, so I will outspeed that. Okay. So the question is do I actually need Cam? I need someone to hit hard. Um, 
be a path to her. The good thing is she can call Luke. Let's try that. I really want to keep Cam for the Jenna Anakin. Hey, Ferris is not going to do anything for me here. She's just going to delay the inevitable. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm looking at the Wampa versus the gas. It's 47% on the SWGH. That's probably not going to work. That's not going to work. Home slice. So I think I'm going to see some of that. I'm seeing how good he did. You know, in terms of points. I'd be hard pressed that he has another G on the back. But possibly. Let's go right after him. Call him. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oof. Come on, one more. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Basil was a good choice. She called. It was nice that she called um, Luke there, but that's rough banners there. Yeah, I gotta think about that. GMI would have been better, obviously. Yeah, GMI would have been a lot better. Hmm, okay. So I gotta think about what to take against the gas, because Wampa ain't gonna work. I think it's either the Mall or the C. I'd be hard, I'd be very hard pressed. He's got a G on the back, and I think I'm gonna take the risk. Not exactly a test, of course, but um, it will work. Okay, let's go and heal. Sit down, and we're just gonna work on them. We're not even gonna go into ultimate. We're going to focus on just getting healed up. <laughs> we don't even have the option to go to ultimate. <laughs> anyway, it's too slow. Get one more. Oh, they get it. Oh, they give it to me. Thank you. Fifty nine. Awesome. Um, I want to try Malik against this one. I'm not sure why Tech is here. I'm not sure why that is. Tech really doesn't do anything without Echo. Echo's not the team, is he? No, it's five and Rex. Um, on enemies that are dazed or target locked, nobody's dazing, nobody target locking from Rex and fives. Yeah, it's weird. It's kind of not really useful there. Um, this guy's defense, right? Where's his armor? 78.7? Yeah, he's got defense mods on him. With 
a little bit of mix of health and production. Um, let's try it out. Be nice to get another 59 here. Obviously, I'm going to go after fives first. Yep, it's going to do that. I'm not going to do anything. We basically just have to wait until I can do this one more time. The Rex light doesn't work on Malik, so I don't have to worry about that. That would have been bad. I mean, not terrible, right? He's doing some damage now. Gotta kill him before he gets another one of those. Oh. oh I got target lock on me. Oh, he gets target lock himself? Okay. Well, even so. Kind of a waste, waste of attack. Fifty nine, awesome. Got to get a couple of high scores to beat this guy. So the question is, should I use Wampa here, or I can't remember who I was thinking of using. Bad batch. I feel like Wampa could do some good, some other where, some other, some other place. If I face like say, say like there's a C in the uh, Sith Eternal in the back, then Wampa could do some good here. Good there. So let's save Wampa because we all kind of know Wampa could take Iron down. But the bad badge, let's see. She's gonna get a hundred percent turn meter. She doesn't have the. She doesn't have her Omicron, which doesn't really matter against the bad badge. Right? What does that thing do? Okay, gives them more health and protection. Yeah, it gives them more health and protection, and they don't get the turn meter. Um, so she's gonna go first. There's no damage here, right? Is that range? I guess range can hit hard. Let's try it out. We're testing. I'm curious. I want to know if Bad Batch can Bad Batch can get really really close to beating this team five versus five. It's close. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. Let's see if I can get. Come on. Oh, that was really really close. I'm not sure if I would have recommended. Uh, that was really close. I'll check the offense on this item, but that was very close to losing. Yeah, let's see that. Let's trip right that off. Oh, no. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can. Mm, I don't think she's gonna let me. Yeah, yeah, fifty-four. Not smart in my play. That's pretty close, though. I'm not sure if I would recommend that. They get those first couple moves, and it's hard to survive that. I'm not sure if I'd recommend the Bad Batch. Wrecker, would he do anything? He would. He would take the hit, but 
you kind of need to stun him to slow him down. All right, so no jails. That's good. That's good. Um. Okay. Let's see how many. Let's see what we're doing on points here. So we've got twenty fifty two. Minus five forty eight. Minus two sixty, and two sixty, and two nineteen. Which is seven sixty five. Let's say that we get seventy banners per ship. That means we need five hundred fifty five points between ten teams. Fifty five point five. Again, that's that's not impossible, but that's near perfect. Fifty seven would be perfect with a full team. So he did not make it easy. Let me tell you. Um, what I wanted to try here was a GR team with Padme leading. I'm curious to see how it goes. I'm curious to see how it goes. We don't need a lot of high damage. We need survivability. So I'm hoping they go after Padme first. That's okay too. Yep. Get him out first, and then go after Chewing. I can't stand him. Let's go ahead and certainly not good banners. Fifty-four, for example, but effective. But effective, so um, interesting to see that that work. I I think if you don't have a Barris, then you're gonna need a tank. You know, you're gonna need a tank like GK, for example, to take some hits. Uh, yeah. Um, let's do Maul. Team that I wanted to try here. It's Sith Trail. Good old Sith Trail. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. How is this going to How is this going to work right here? This is where all the curiosity is. Okay, one more. Oh, we're not. That's a lot of debuffs. <laughs> That's a lot of debuffs. All right, can we kill what? There we go. Okay. Not the not, not the prettiest banner. Oof. See them all. R nine mall down the drain. So okay. That's good testing. What are we going to do here? Oh, yeah. It's less testing than... Um, I don't have... I usually try this with Marauder, but I don't have them. Um, I put them on defense. So um, I'm going to outspeed them. And then I'm going to go right after CLS. Go straight for CLS. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Um, nobody else has fear, so let's do that. And let's go all in. Come on. Okay. Is that one banner lost? Okay, good. All right, that certainly saves the Malik for another team, like we already used. Okay, so let's start working on the bottom here. 
Let's see what we need to do. Can't use. Alright, what can we use Wampa against? I can't do it against the JTR. Health immunity. I can't do it with the DR. There's Malik there. Can't do the Sith input Sith Trio. I'd be afraid to do it against the Padme team. Is that an R9? Oh, okay, yeah, R9 GK. That was an R9 Ahsoka. <laughs> um, okay, so can that work? I get really afraid. Is her stun unavoidable or avoidable? Yeah. It's not, so we can. I guess the problem would be. Can I actually get through them? I don't think I can. I think I'm gonna have to use Wampa for the Mon Mothma team. Probably work on the nest team too. Health immunity. I'll slowly just kill nest. Yeah, nah, I'd rather use the I'd rather use the Wampa and the Mon Mothma. Yeah. It's curious. He doesn't have Kyle. I mean, he's got Kyle, but he didn't put Kyle here. It's, it's odd. Okay. Against Darth Revan team, I think I'm going to do Imperial Troopers. I just did that earlier with my alt. Okay, let's just out of this. This should be this should be 58. Yeah, this every time he roars, he's getting offense up, which has no cap to it. So eventually, he's just, yeah. So eventually, he's just going to be one hitting everybody. I'd like to stop it every once in a while because he usually does the roar over the pound, and I need the pound for the protection. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. So maybe he's trying. The only problem is, is the ground pounder will kill everybody, eventually. I think he's trying to get a, a team that time locked me out. But it only works for so long. I think he's trying to do like a timeout situation. Yeah, it only works for so long though, and you're just gonna you're eventually just kill everybody with the ground pound, and often keep getting offense up. So it's just basically just yeah, it's a slight timeout situation. But with Wampa, he will just get keep getting stronger. Kind of use up my time though. Should have ground pounded. Come on. Keep just using the same strategy here. There we go. Yeah, it's a slight timeout issue, but frankly, Wumba will just take more. It'll just take an extra minute. <laughs> Eventually, he'll get so high offense that he's going to be soloing these guys, and they won't have enough time to get their their buffs up that they need to keep um, reviving themselves. 
So, but I'm not sure if Calcutta would have been any better there. But you do lose out a lot of offense in that team. So, it's at least interesting. So, good old Imperial Troopers here. I just did this with my alt um, earlier today. I guess the only risk would be if Storage Ribbons are actually faster than me. Ooh. Okay, I gotta get my Piet up. Yeah, he's faster, but... Ugh. I gotta get my Piet up. I put all my high-speed mods for my Imperial Trooper on Gideon. Because he usually pulls back Terminator in the first thing. But against Darth Revan, it doesn't really... Obviously, there's no Gideon here, so it doesn't help me. So I'm faster, but that's a little close. Let's get Dark Trooper. We're going to go after um, BSF first. So most people throw this onto uh, Dark Trooper, but I don't have the Zeta on him. So if they start attacking me, well, let's do it anyways. Do that, get that off, and then do the AOE. Come on. There we go. So if you don't kill her there, it becomes difficult. Okay, he does that. And then there's that. Yeah, pretty typical. 56, yeah. Pretty typical there. Uh, but you just need to get your offense up on your dart trooper to make sure you kill BSF that first swing. And if you don't, things will get very rocky for you. Um, yeah. All right, so we got five teams left. Let's take an inventory and see what we have. We got Maul, we have Vader, we got a BAM team, we got a we got lots of stuff, don't we? We still have Jedi Anakin. We have a lot still. Interesting, all that we've got here. Geos, yeah, lots of stuff. And uh, Aiden. All right, so. I think Aiden would be a good team. To get good banners on, but I don't know what would possibly... How much time do we have? An hour? 25? Okay, we got plenty of time. Yeah, I think my strongest team would be Maul. But Maul is not taking Padme down. Padme is a strong counter against Maul team. So I'd like to use Maul for the other, one of the other four. Got Sith Trio, JTR. Um, Nest, I don't want to try that. How fast is she? 352. I think that's pretty standard for her. But that would mean that I either use Aiden here or Maul here. I could do Maul or, you know, Anakin, Qui Gon Jinn. So Maul, Walt will go first and pass over to tech over to Maul, which will activate Frenzy. Maul will do his AoE, which will make Kanderous hit them a couple times, getting some dots. And hopefully it's enough dots to give him enough Terminator to outspeed this girl. If I do that, then Kanderous will go again. Activating another Frenzy for Maul, and Maul will go straight into it. That's the idea, but do will I get enough tur meter from Candace's basic? Mm 
never came to kill damage from enemies, but the damage will come back for two turns. Not incredibly fast. Is she tenacity or anything? No. Three fifty two. So three fifty two. How many how much whenever an enemy with the damage of a time effect damage by attack, Henry's gains eight percent true meter. Uh, watch throwing, watch throwing a GOT on him as well. There's a put twice on target. Okay, so when Maul goes, he does his spinning move. Yeah. It'll make Watt go using the basic. So I need to put Watt first. Watt will go, use the basic, put two DOTs. Kaner's tax puts another DOT, but he attacks with the two DOTs already on there, getting 16% turn meter. Yep. And then he's going to attack again, and three dots will be there. So then he'll get another... 24% turn meter. So he'll get 40% turn meter. So 232 to be 386 speed, effective speed. So 386 will outrun her. Alright, so that should work. So let's do this. Alright, I'm going to put the TM on him, and then, so Frenzy's activated, and he's got Frenzy, one for more turn. We're going to do this. Oh, no. Oh, it's enough. One of the dots didn't hit. You can see he's only got two. He didn't get three. But um, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go straight in. Perfect. Nice. Okay. When those dots didn't land, I was like, oh no. <laughs> But I think he would have done, yeah, obviously he did it enough with only two dots. Uh, okay, so. My next strongest team? I got Bounty Hunters, I got Bam. JTR, even. How fast is this BBA? 311. What? What? <laughs> what is going on? What is that? 311? <laughs> Mine's only 299. <laughs> We're not mirroring that. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah. I'd say the Padme team would be the toughest. And I think I might do what I did last time. And maybe... Maybe that? I can't remember if that was what I did last time. No, I had Thrawn there. Didn't I? Didn't I fracture her? I think I fractured her. These are like 400 speed. Oh my gosh. 308 speed, Padme. What, what health? That's still high health, too. 308. I mean, I'm going to outrun that, but... 284, he gets 8 for each Empire, Sith, Jedi, and Rebel. So there's 2 Jedi on the team. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he's getting 56 plus speed. Yeah, I'll definitely outrun him. But seriously. 
If she's not fractured, I have to ability block her. If I don't ability block her, the game is over. She's got no tenacity mods on her. And I think I've got potency mods on my beta. Yeah. So, I got potency mods on Mary Jade too. Question is, yeah, this is this is what I have to use. All right, so steel S. I have steel S too. Well. Hanjoy. Ooh, I wonder what Akbar. One more crown Akbar. Let's try the battle. All his gain tenacity over two turns. Well, as a rebel. And that's my uh, three percent turn there. Yeah, it's not really great for Han Chui, but it's probably the better. Han and Chewy here? I don't think they're gonna turn either. Yeah, that one I don't think that will work. Keep it in mind though, for another battle. Yeah, I think this is the best thing. I think this is the best thing. I just gotta keep pulling their turn meter back, keep stunning them, pulling the turn meter back. Gotta keep doing that until I get enough buffs there to, for Vader to do some damage. Come on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Shoot. I don't think I'd recommend this one. Yeah, it just, um, it's too close, you know? Mighty close. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't. Uh, it's not what I was do what I'm hoping to do. I was hoping to just run in circles around them, and it didn't end up happening. Um, it won, but that could have gone wrong if I didn't ability block one person that I should have, like GK. Or Padme, they would have dispelled all buffs and I would have been screwed. So I would not recommend that. And I think I got a little lucky there. I got a little lucky on that one. Okay, so I got a Sith Trio, a Nest, and what's the other one? Oh, JTR. Yeah. Okay. So, Rebels, I want to take somebody with probably the JTR team. What am I taking the Sith Trio against with? Can Jedi, can Qui Gon Jinn take any of these teams down? I guess I'd be a little worried about going after Anakin and Qui-Gon with Nihilus here. That's got me a little, a little worried. I 
if this can do anything. Oh man, I've got item too. Too much. But too much. So, CLS, or Rebels against this one. Do I have, uh, I don't. Yeah. Let's try it out. Obviously, they wouldn't be taken against the nest there up top, nor would I want to take them to the other team either. Um, that's not going to do anything. I'll take it. Um, is this. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, oh, you banner stealer. Nice. Nice, it gave me it. Okay, so two teams left. I've got Aiden. I don't think I'm taking this team down. I think I want to use Bosk for this team. Yeah. They have no leadership. So, you know, there's no BAM leadership here where they're, of course, 170 speed on IG-11. Why? <laughs> Why? Of course. He's faster than Quill. Why would you do that? Why would you make your idea faster than Quill? Quill is giving you, when he goes first, he does, I've spoken, and he gives everybody 20%, 25% Terminator. That's why you make Quill go first, because he's getting everybody else Terminator. When you make IG-11 go first, he's going to use this, what is it, protect one? Yeah. He's going to hurt everybody. I click Tenacity down. Okay, so if I get Tenacity down, is that doing anything? He's going to, he's going to, they're going to outrun me. Yeah, 347. No. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I just need to go. My boss needs to go before the nest. That's all. I guess I should have checked the speeds on the nest, but we're good. What? Oh, he got 25. Of course. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> he gets 25% true meter. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I need to spell that. Fine. Oof. That's okay. There we go. There's eighty, ninety. Oh, get rid of the nest. Go ahead and heal. Stun. Stun. Yeah. Perfect. Up there. You're just gonna make me annihilate you, aren't you? It's gonna go make me use up all this time. It's kind of it's not an effective team. It's just annoying. Just goodbye. Whatever. <laughs> Words. 
All right, let's check uh, scores again. We got two down. All right, 252, 2052 minus 1310 minus the 260 minus the 219. Let's say I get 70 per. One, two, three. I need a 53 on this king. 53. Let's get it done so we can see. Well, let's check to see what um, ships we're dealing with here. Okay. This I can handle. I can handle this. Um, I'm probably going to have to mirror match that. Ugh. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's um, let's take the bottom here first. So. We got a BAM, we got JTR. Do these people have like plus 170 speed too? Is that what they have? 115? Of course it's speed modded. <laughs> 286. Okay. 267. For all that speed, look how slow Nihilus is in comparison to other people. It's getting plus 127, he's still two, only, only 267. Um, so I've got Anakin, I've got Finnick. Uh, Finnick is just not really in play anymore. I could probably make that work. JTR, bam. Anakin. Mm. I think I'm going to look this one up. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure any of those teams would work. What, what I want to know is not just how to beat it. I want to know who's going to give me a good score. Probably should have checked this before I did the battles. Mm. We may have had whoopsie here. Probably should have checked it before because both Han and Chewie and um, and Chewie and Bounty Hunters both work well for good points. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to pucker up here. Get less less banners than I want. Okay, there we go. So what does her isolate do here? Okay, the bows can hang guys. Can't gain positive effects on a turn. Okay. Yeah. This should be okay. I'm not giving them any debuffs. Not many, at least. I want this person gone. It makes me nervous having him around. So I just want him dead. <laughs> okay, that worked. Um, let's dispel. Perfect. I'll take that. All right, kill Qui-Gon Jinn, please.
doing? Ah, oh, god damn. Come on. Uh, it's actually not that bad. I think they're going to give me those two. So what is this? 55? Yeah. I'll take that. That would have been more than if Qui-Gon and Jin actually died. Yeah, that works. Okay. So I got a little bit of leeway on the battles here. I need the 53. I got 55. I guess that was the tie. I think he's got greater GP than me. Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> oh my gosh. 9.8. He's got a million more than me. Alright, so... <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh lordy. Alright, so... The only one I don't have a lot of experience in is the finalizer. I know that my um, my malevolence can take that. So I'm not too concerned if I needed to kill it. The only issue is is if I was going to mirror match, that's going to leave me in a pickle. It's going to leave me in a pickle. So the question is... Can I take the malevolence down with my rebels? That's the question. And I'm going to say probably not. I think I'm going to have a better luck taking down the finalizer down with my rebels. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mirror match the malevolence battle. Yeah. I didn't check. Does he have an R9? He has an R8. Oh, see? I knew my R9 would come into play. <laughs> <laughs> ah, who's got the R9 now? <laughs> if I lose this battle, I'm gonna eat my words. Oh lord. Oh, not that guy. Okay, so. Going faster will help, uh, for sure. How is this sunbag? Relic 5, 149? I think he's got me on that one. I don't think that's going to help, though. It's interesting, but I think when some of that goes, he avoids that... He avoids the... Um, what should we call it? The foresight. So I don't think that would actually help. I think it's just going to cost me a banner if I brought him in. Alright, well, his son of can go first. I don't think I've got Soldier even Relic. Going one for you. Alright, well. Let's see what comes May. I guess I should have brought... I should have brought the Empire Guidance as a reinforcement. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's do it now. Okay, so... Do AoE. Ooh, I'll take that. Yes. Uh, yeah. 
fine. Okay, get their bomber out. ASAP. Come on. Yes, thank you. Yep. Okay, good. What? Ugh. Just loading up him with Terminator. Dang it. Doctor's appearing. Should need to get that faster. So Ooh, don't do that. Come on, one more time. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So close. Alright. Pretty bad banners. 65. Yep. That's gonna burn me. I need to make up four because of that one. So let's redo the math here. He's at um, 22, 2052. Minus 219 for the field. Minus 1690 my score for now. Plus one because I got beat him by one. Can't tie him. I think I got 144. So I need 72 each. Seventy-two each. No, 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 no. It's it's not going to be fun getting. Let me tell you. Let's see. Oop, not which. Um, yeah. 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 I just don't, I don't think I'm going to get the points I need, though. So I might just use this on efficiency, which, frankly, is it's not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather lose on efficiency than a dumb mistake like I did last time. Ideally, this would be 71. Let's go ahead. The biggest risk here is going to be if I um, if Han gets targeted first and dies. That's going to be the biggest risk. If that happens, game over. That's I can live with that. I can live with that. I want this guy actually gone. He's giving... Giving turn me to this guy. And then I'm going to start working on that guy. Whoa. Whoa. I need 70. I 
think that was that that was good. I got I got pretty good RNG. I was able to get a lot of uh, assists there. Um, that felt good. Normally I'm just going with three, but I want to assure me the victory here. So I'm bringing in the fourth. I'm going to bring myself up bringing that four. It's 76 if I just bring the three in. Not assured. Sometimes it's 74, 75. Yeah, I'm just going to go we'll go with what I know. Take the three, aim for 76. If I get 74, 75, I just need 70. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's pretty normal. I'm going to do this and then AoE Ahsoka. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay, nice try. It's not gonna work. It just uses AOE, but I'm gonna save it just in case they have a fives. Someone they can do another AOE. At this point, I'm just taking my time getting to that, and I'm gonna. Going to assassinate. And now I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Oh, nope. Okay. Well, there's the 74. But, 1 by 6. So I guess I was off by 1 point. My math sometimes. I, think I use a calculator. I promise. I don't. <laughs> uh, well, that was pretty close. So. He did really, really well. I have said this many times that it's unfair for Relkin. He went first. He cleared everything. He had a great score. It's unfair that he got undercut. And I was able to see what he scored and what I needed to score to win the battle. And I've said this before, that they should, if you clear a zone before your other enemy in the other mirror zone, so if you clear a zone before your enemy does, you should get an extra one point for each zone you clear before the other person does. That, in my opinion, offsets this whole undercutting somebody. Because it isn't there. Is it a Relkin that I was able to see exactly how many what points I needed? It changed... I'm not sure what it would have changed. Maybe something on the fleet battles. I'm not sure what it would change in terms of what I would have used. Um, I have to reread, re-listen to everything, re-watch everything, see if it would have changed anything. But anyways, you know, there's been many cases where it absolutely would have changed what I would have used in the previous battles, in the previous GSEs. That I know that I had to go in with three or four instead of five or six, and I normally do fleets. And it would have, it could have, you know, I could have gotten twenty forty nine, and he would have gotten twenty fifty two, and he would have won. So it's been, it's been my thought that to make it more, much more fair, that they should get compensated for going first. And to do that, I think if you clear his own before your enemy does, then you should get you know, an extra point for that. I've been saying that all over the forums. <laughs> With no avail. <laughs> All right, so we 2058, 2052. That means for this match so far, we're 1 1. I do need, I did need that win. I got back down to 3941, the skill rating. This will bring me back up to 3983, something like that. 3984, something like that. And um, aiming for that 4000. So hopefully, I'll win the next battle too. And we'll see you guys when that comes around. Later.